I welcome you to my daily Catholic reflection in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is the 19th day in the month of May, year 2024, and today is Pentecost Sunday. And I'm here as usual to share the word of God with you. Today we celebrate a momentous occasion in the life of the church, Pentecost Sunday. This special day commemorates the outpouring of the Holy Spirit on the disciples as recorded in Acts chapter 2 verse 1 to 11. It marks the birth of the church and the empowerment of believers to boldly proclaim the gospel to all nations. As we reflect on the readings for today, may we be reminded of the transformative power of the Holy Spirit in our lives and in the world around us. Beloved in Christ, in our first reading of today from Acts chapter 2 verse, 11, verse 1 to 11, we see the powerful outpouring of the Holy Spirit on the disciples, marking the birth of the church. The Spirit's presence is accompanied by remarkable signs and wonders, and the disciples are empowered to boldly proclaim the gospel to all nations. In our gospel reading of today from the Gospel of John chapter 15, verse 26 to 27, and to chapter 16, verse 12 to 15, Jesus promises his disciples that the Holy Spirit will come to guide them into all truth and testify about him the spirit's role is to convince the world of sin righteousness and judgment and to empower the disciples to continue jesus mission however in our second reading from galatians chapter 5 verse 16 to 25 we are warned about the dangers of living according to our fleshly desires Paul reminds us that if we choose to follow our sinful nature, we will not inherit the kingdom of God. Instead, we must walk by the Spirit, bearing fruit such as love, joy, and peace. Analyzing these passages, we see a stark contrast between the em empowering presence of the Holy Spirit and the destructive nature of our fleshly desires. The Spirit brings unity, boldness, and fruitfulness, while our fleshly desires lead to division, fear, and destruction. Today, we are faced with a choice. Will we yield to the Spirit's guidance or succumb to our fleshly desires? Will we boldly proclaim the gospel or remain silent in the face of adversity? Will we walk in love, joy, and peace or indulge in hatred, fear, and strife? The church today is at a crossroads. We can choose to embrace the empowering presence of the Holy Spirit or we can succumb to our fleshly desires and miss out on the abundant life Jesus promised. We can choose to boldly proclaim the gospel, or we can remain silent and allow darkness to prevail. Let us heed Paul's warning and walk by the Spirit, bearing fruit that honors God. Let us embrace the empowering presence of the Holy Spirit and boldly continue Jesus' mission in our world. The choice is ours. May God grant us the grace to walk in the Spirit and bear fruit that lasts in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for listening to me. My name is Joseph Iyaji. Please share this post with others. As you do this, Almighty God will bless you richly this day and beyond in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.